know, I was overhearing. It sounds like your Big Bad Wolf sort of has some more human elements yeah, to it. Yeah, He's and not in, in fact, the, the Big Bad Wolf is a little bit of a misnomer, um, only in the sense that uh, my character is what they call a blute bod, which is a variation on the Big Bad Wolf, and it is specific to Grimm. Blute bods live in, the, in, in Grimm, and... Um, Really, the story is about real detectives solving real crimes. The, the difference is that the lead detective, or the lead character, who I don't think is the lead detective, I think Russell's character is really the lead detective, he can see people's dark sides because he is a grim and he discovers this in the first episode. So it's important to remember that it's a real world where the demonic impulses, which we all have, these all, we all have ids, we all have desires. These things, for people who can't control them, are made manifest to Grimm's, and they can see them, and that threatens these creatures. And so, in the story, Grimm's are profilers, and they've been doing it for hundreds of years, trying to get to these demons. And how does that work for you if you're sort of a villain, it sounds like, is that correct? Well, I think what's great about my character is that I am a reformed Blutbot. And I am trying to keep my blute bod under wraps. I have changed my life. And I haven't killed people for years. And I have made a point to move on. And yet the impulses persist. So there's a very rich vein there of inner conflict that I think will be explored as the show goes on.